Millions of Americans are affected with a condition known as peripheral neuropathy. The condition may cause numbness, burning pain, or a tingling feeling in the hands and feet, cramping, balance problems, as well as difficulty sleeping due to leg and foot discomfort. If you know someone or you are struggling with these symptoms, the next few moments could offer welcome relief as we are joined by Dr. Mashburn from the Wellness Institute. Talkopolis, the social media TV network for your city. Neuropathy, tell us a little bit more about it. Well, neuropathy is a condition where there's a lot of pain in the, in the legs, in the feet, you know, nerve pain, and also in the hands too. And uh, the majority of the public that has neuropathy really aren't getting any help with neuropathy, and they're just getting pain pills to cover up the symptoms. Well, neuropathy has causes. There's causes, but the underlying cause has to be addressed to fix this neuropathy problem. And we've been treating it nearly for nearly eight years now, and we get really, really good results with neuropathy. The patients come in with tingling, numbness in their feet, pain, electrical shock feeling, a lot of different symptoms associated with neuropathy. And uh, they're not really getting any help. And so the help that we provide is just amazing. We use uh, different modalities to treat neuropathy, and we use what's called FCT to treat neuropathy, the frequencies. I know it's hard to understand, but the changes are just really, really phenomenal with neuropathy. And I know we're going to get to FCT later on and explain to the folks at home exactly what that is. Just talk us through some of the symptoms of neuropathy. There's quite a few different symptoms of neuropathy from numbness on the feet or hands, tingling feet or hands, uh, pins and needles filling feet or hands, um, burning uh, pain, electrical shock pain, hot feet, cold feet, things like that, just a myriad of symptoms. But pain is the most debilitating symptom of neuropathy. Mm -hmm. uh, now I know that there are a lot of people uh, at home who want a lot more information about this and I've got a couple of questions here. One of them is, what causes neuropathy? Neuropathy can cause by for sure, either type 1 or type 2 diabetes, spinal stenosis, or it's called idiopathic. They don't know what caused it, it just came on, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, Post-chemotherapy causes a lot of neuropathy also. Um, so idiopathic, we get uh, idiopathic 30%, they don't even know what caused it, but 60% uh, is because of diabetes causing neuropathy, cause of the cause of neuropathy. Um, uh, spinal stenosis, maybe 20%. Mm -hmm. So there is definitely cause of spinal stenosis, diabetes, um, post-chemotherapy, things like that. And now I know that it's often misdiagnosed as well, and um, we've talked a little bit about fibromyalgia off camera before. Um, and a lot of these patients go through a really miserable time knowing that there's something physically wrong with them, and uh, they start to believe that perhaps it's something that's mentally wrong with them, and that's just not the case. That's not the case. Uh, some of these people go up to 10 to 12 to 15 to 20 years trying to figure out what's wrong with them. And the doctors say, well, you know, some of them have even told them to the point that, you know, it's all in your head. Mm -hmm. you know? Well, it's not in their head, it's in their feet, it's in their hands, that's where it is. And it's a pain that, uh, or a discomfort that becomes debilitating over a period of time. Mm -hmm. It's a progressive disease that doesn't get better on its own. You've got to go in there aggressively and change this. And our approach is no, there's no pain in the approach to fix this at all. They already have the pain, so we're not going to add to it. Uh, as far as being in their head, a lot of people believe that because they have them on such strong medications at time. Lyrica, gabapentin, things like that, it really does kind of interfere with their thinking properly because of what they're going through with their condition. I know the people at home are probably wondering, well, how can I fix this? And what does the Wellness Institute do to help me get through these problems? And we, we mentioned before field control therapy, which we'll call FCT. Yeah. And a part of this process is largely about removing the toxins from our system. Exactly. Talk about this that. is what FCT does. We all live in a toxic soup, <clears throat> all of us, because we're all exposed to heavy metal toxins, chemical toxins, pesticides, herbicides, viruses, bacteria. We're all in parasites. We all live in that soup, and that soup starts to float our body up with toxins, and this really starts to mess up the frequencies mm -hmm. in different parts of the body. So we have to rid the body of these toxins, and we do this through FCT. And it's, uh, it's an amazing uh, procedure 
that really changes people, people's health really fast and we're really happy to be able to use this in our office. We're the only one in Tennessee actually using this and we need a hundred more doctors right now doing it, but we don't have it and I wow. probably won't see it in my lifetime, but we need that. This is a aggressive, great way to go as far as the chronic conditions. Well, concerned. I know more and more now Americans are becoming more aware of, um, of their health and how they can, um, preventative health especially, and you know, the old fix has always been pre uh, prescription medication, but people are eating a lot better, they're watching yeah. what they eat, they're more aware of antibiotics and pesticides in their diets and things like that. But there is also a way that they can shift from the prescription medication to programs like this, and I know that you gave yeah. me some incredible statistics about prescription medication. Yeah. Well, prescription medication, this is the only approach taken by the majority of allopathic medicines. And that is just a, basically what it does, it covers up the problem. It doesn't find the root problem, what really caused this to happen. And this mm -hmm. is why we use FCT uh, to find out what is the underlying cause of your health problem? Is it a parasite? Is it a virus? Is it, a, is it uh, herbicides, pesticides, heavy metal toxins? And we have to go deep to find that because if we continue just covering up the problem with medication, the problem doesn't get fixed. It's like, you know, your engine oil light comes on in your car. You put a piece of tape over it, you don't see it, so you think everything's okay. <laughs> well, the engine oil light, you know, that's the, that's the disease and the mm -hmm. tape is the drug. Yeah. So, we have to take the tape off. We've got to find what's wrong with the engine, the underlying cause. We have to go deep in the body, and this is what we do with FCT. Well, Dr. Mashburn, we've so enjoyed you being on today's program, and of course, we're going to be helping you conduct a lot of seminars at the Wellness Institute where people can learn all about this sort of thing, and you can have the proximity to the doctor and his good staff out there. Um, and thanks so much. We well, appreciate it. Well, thank you.